Hey guys, Jimmy here, and welcome to my boudoir. <laughs> no refunds. Now today, another large part of my new rig arrived. Probably the bit that I'm most scared of. A lot of you probably know what it is already because you can read and you've read the title below. And also, I'm very bad at keeping secrets and I share a lot of this sort of information in my Discord. But I thought we'd sort of unbox it again. I've already opened it to make sure stuff's already there. I don't really do the unboxing thing. I do the post-unboxing, even better, right? And uh, take you guys through my new wheel. Here you are then, three boxes. Probably worth stating that the one on the right was originally inside the middle box. But I don't fancy trying to get it out again. It was a bugger to get out. So we'll do it this way and we'll start on the left. So this is a box that I've actually only just opened. So I do know what's in here, but I haven't actually uh, got it all out yet and had a look. So let's explore, shall we? So you go out of the box. and Now let's uh, get rid of some of that polystyrene on the side there. And as you can probably see, it is a power supply, a rather large one. So when I say power supply, I sort of mean the central nervous system of this uh, of this new wheel. You can't really see in there. Lots of really cool bits. There's the back there of all the inputs for the wheel, etc. I would open it up, but uh, I haven't really got a screwdriver to hand. So I just have to take my word for it. This is a very beefy power supply. I think somewhere, I think it's like 720 watts or something like that. It's uh, pretty intense. Despite its size though, it's not really that heavy. It's about a couple of kilos or so. See a couple of buttons there on the side and some more of the central working so you can't really see in there. So uh, it's quite bulky though. See here's my hand to scale with very poorly painted nails which people have commented on before. Yes, guess what? I do do that. It's scary, isn't it? But uh, I'm trying to think of where I'm going to put this. But anyway, enough of that. Next box. So this box is looking actually fairly empty after I've taken out the, the third box which we'll get to in a second. Um, but it has quite a few clues as to what's coming next, if the big power supply was not already one. See, there's a big fuck-off emergency stop button, which I'm so glad to have a massive red button that I can press. It's going to really inflate my ego. Love it. We also have some pretty hardcore power wires in here as well, going to the back of uh, the wheel. God, they look bulky. I'm going to die on this thing, aren't I? We have the power supply for the power supply, which I need to buy... An adapter for because I'm not a peasant. We have three pin here in the UK. We're the most annoying power supply people in Europe. What's this? This looks to be some sort of mounting from what I can tell. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually need this or not. I may well do, but uh, the uh, new Sim GT rig is pretty uh, pretty good for that sort of thing from what I know so far. A couple of uh, USB cables. In here as well. Now this is meant to be the this is meant to be the box for the emergency stop button, but it's already sort of attached. And these were inside. Oh, there goes one of them. I'm going to assume that these are adapters for certain wheels. This looks like the OMP uh, adapter with six uh, six holes there, so it might be that one. He says. Like a couple of uh, some bolts and some nuts there, which I assume is for fixing the wheel to the base and the uh, adapters to the wheel. A, another mount, which I assume would go on another rig, but again, as I said before, I think the Sim GT rig has that covered. And what's this at the bottom here? I have no idea what this is. Shall we unwrap it? Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't actually know what this is. I assume it goes on the uh, the wheel somewhere, if it can focus. Thank you, camera. Um, I don't know where it goes. It was covered in greaseproof... Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Greaseproof paper for some reason. But I guess I'll find out what that is and uh, when I'm building the, the body wheel anyway. But yeah, shall we move on to the uh, the most exciting package now, shall we? I think we shall. Now for the big boy. Now, this box weighs about 15 kilos. It's by far the heaviest one. And... My poor crippled mother had to sign for it and try and bring it into the house and I was asleep, so I'm awful. So th thank you, Mum. I'm sorry that I killed you. But uh, let's open her up, shall we? And there it is, the uh, direct drive part of my OSW wheel. The uh, the motor is one of the, the smaller midge motors. I say smaller. It is the 130ST M15015, whatever that means. It's the one that's capable of out outputting 30 newton meters of torque, and I haven't actually taken out of it, uh, taken it out of this wrapper yet. So we're going to do that on camera. Well, sort of. Well, there it is. And judging by the indentation it's leaving in my bed, you can tell it's quite heavy. I can't really move it around with one hand. 
I'll give it a go though. So right onto its side, you can see here the uh, the ports for the power. I'll try and roll it onto its front. Oh, there it is. Oh God, it's, <laughs> it's so heavy. And there you go. The most glorious shaft you'll see all day. And I'm really, really looking forward to getting this hooked up. I, you can't tell, I can't tell you how excited I am to get this onto the, the rig once it's all built. So there you go then, ladies and gentlemen. The really bad secret is out. My new wheel is a direct drive OSW wheel, and I cannot wait to get it hooked up to the uh, Husinkveld, ha <laughs> I said it right again, DT rig uh, once everything is here. I'm still waiting for the bucket seat and the actual physical wheel to put on the direct drive base. Um, that's an OMP WRC wheel, if you're interested to know what that is. I want to say a massive thank you to Tomo, I think it's pronounced, I'm probably saying it wrong, so I am, over at Sim Racing Bay, who made the process of buying this wheel. It was quite intimidating to go and spend so much on the wheel, but he made it very easy, gave me a lot of very good information, just made the whole process quite, uh, you know, lubricated the process, made it very nice and uh, not as stressful as it could have been. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. And because you enjoyed them so much last time, here are some chickens. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. See you next time.